This video is for our science teachers to learn a little more about how they can use HMH in their classes in Canvas. So I'm going to open up a test course here just to show you what options that you have. I am going to create a module called HMH and I'm just going to add a blank, uh, well let's do an assignment here. So when I'm editing the assignment, I have this little plugin icon here, and I can click on that. I either need to click on View All to find the HMH Ed Linking tool, or you might have it already there for you. So if you click on it, what it should do is load up um, previously where you were in Ed. So you can back up a little bit here. So you can see that I've currently selected the uh, Living Earth unit here. I can search within if I know exactly what I'm looking for. Otherwise what I can do is look at a different unit and click on it. And then I can view the resources that are in it. I can also drill down into the individual lessons in it or look at the student ebook. I'm going to click on view resources because it's going to show you all of the resources that are included in the unit. You can filter it, which I recommend um, specifically for the format. So if you're just looking for the ebook, for example, um, or different PDFs or presentations or whatever you're looking for, uh, you can filter by that. I'm going to start by just doing the ebook. So you can see here that there are student ebook pieces and teacher ebook pieces. You can do a quick view to see what they look like, uh, though I will tell you that it's very, very small in this little tiny window here, um, so it's not super great to look at. So if you know which part of the text you're looking for, um, what you can do is then create uh, any LMS link right here. And then it just puts a link right in here for students. As a student, I should be able to come in here and click on that link, and it's gonna bring me directly to the part that you linked in the ebook. Students have the option to play some audio, take some notes. Um, they have an option here for read along highlights. So if it's if the audio is on, it will highlight the words as they are going through. They just click on this to keep moving. There are things within the book that students can complete. So if you are having them um, either download a PDF or let's say that they are typing in these definitions for these terms here. They could screenshot this. They could also print off this page um, by clicking on Command P on their keyboard and then they can save what they're working on as a PDF and submit that to Canvas. So you can see here in the ebook there are places where it asks students to type things in. Again, they can just they can just save that as a PDF and submit it or screenshot it depending on what your task is for the student. If you just want a link in the module that goes directly to that ebook part and don't want to collect anything for students or have a column in the gradebook because I created an assignment, you can then do an external tool. And then what it's going to do is show you all the different possibilities that we have in here. We've got the HMH Ed Linking Tool. It's going to look the same. You can find the same resources in here. The difference is that they wouldn't be able to turn something in. It just simply functions as a link. So if I want to use this, create my LMS link, add item. So now they just have a link that they can click on that will bring them directly to the spot in the ebook that you want them to look at. The last thing that I'll point out is there are assessments available in the Ed Linking tool. However, all of those have been imported into your master course. So you'll see we have new Canvas quizzes here. I did have to click on quizzes to find them. They are not listed currently under modules. And these are fully editable quizzes. So if you have a question that you don't like, you can change it or delete it. You can add questions your own. All of those questions are included here and they should be organized by different lessons. And then there are also unit tests and I believe they have different versions of them as well. So we got test A and test B. There are pre-tests for each unit as well. So all of those are available in your HMH Biology Master currently and are ready for you to use. 
So those are the key pieces that you're probably going to want to use right away with HMH. We are still working on getting the U solve it into the master course because those are these nice little interactives that students can complete. Um, but for right now, this is what we have to work with.